All right, so we're going to look at how to submit an assignment. So if I have all of my stuff saved here, remember I have each program saved in its own directory. If I actually get into here, you'll see there's all kinds of stuff here. This is the actual solution here, but there's all these other uh, folders that go along with it. To open up a program successfully, you need all of this stuff with it. You can't just have one individual file. So I need that entire directory in order to open up anything. Or you need that entire directory if you want to uh, take that file somewhere, if you want to open up that program somewhere else. So what we need to do, we've got our Word document that has the screenshots of everything. And then we've got our four program directories here which we saved. We want to take all of this, highlight it all, and then we're going to send it to a compressed zip file. This is saying that this is all stored on the cloud, so it has to bring them off the cloud first. But then it creates a file. The file one that you want to name it as your name, student number, and week number as a zip file. And then we're going to store that, we're going to submit that zip file. So I'm going to go to week one, assignment one. I'm going to browse my computer. And I want to submit that file, that compressed zip file there. So that is what I would submit. I'm going to show you how these are marked. So first of all, I'm going to submit this one here. Then I say submit. And OK, you should be pretty familiar with how to do that now. OK, so now I'm going to show you how this actually gets marked. So if I, I'm in my teacher version of this now. So this is what I see when I get your submission. So I look here, I'm going to get your zip file. I can see all of these things. Okay, so what I want to go to is I want to only look, I, if I'm lucky, I only need to look at your Word document here. I probably don't want to open up your individual programs because that's going to take me a lot of time. So I would like to be able to just look at your Word document submission and evaluate everything based off of that. So let's look at this here. So this is how I'm going to grade. So I'll show you this, and I'll also bring up the grading rubric that I'm going to use. So we got this and this. All right, so, so if you can read this here. So first of all, very first thing we're marking on here, student info. So is the student info filled in at the top for each program? If you did it for all programs, you get full marks. If you're missing it for one, it can have to get marked here. So when I look at the programs that are submitted here, I have program number one, program two, program three, and program four. So there's four programs all together. So let's look at this one. That is all filled out properly. That one's all filled out properly. This one's all filled out properly. And this one here, oh, here, it just has name and student number, it does not have the other information. So you can see that has the program, the pro program two, program name, and the week number. This one does not. 
So you're going to lose some points there. So missing from one program. So I'm going to score that one there. Screenshots. Word document has a screenshot for each program, including the output for all programs. So screenshot with output here, screenshot with output here, screenshot, but no console window. They missed putting in the console window. Screenshot with console window, that's all good. Okay, so it's missing in one spot. So we're going to score that one here. Under program, program is, is correct for all. So I'm going to look at this here. I'm just going to go through here. This one here, the hello world. That one is good. This one here, that's good. This one, that is good. This one here, oh, the perimeter, you can see here. Perimeter equals two times side. That should be four times side. That is done incorrectly. So one of the four programs has a mistake in it. So we're gonna say this one here, one program is wrong. Program comments. Are all the programs well commented? That's got comments in it. That's got comments in it. This program here has no comments. Okay, no comments in this program. This one has a comment here, that's good. So three of the four have comments, so one is missing. I'm gonna score that here. Program output. Output is all correct in each one. So what do we have here? This output window is correct. The program is wrong. The output window is correct by what the program is telling it to do. So that's okay. This one, the output window is wrong, so I can't even verify that. So I'm going to say this one is wrong. This one is good. This one is good. So I'm going to say three or four on that one. And then the pro project files are all the project files there. So let's go back to the uh, submission. When I look here, I have the Word document, and I got one, two, three files. I only have three of four files. So they did not include the fourth program file. So there's one program file missing. All right, so in the end, that comes out to 75 out of 100. I can write some comments here if I want. So I'm gonna save that and submit. This person is gonna get 75 out of 100 for this assignment. Okay, so that is how the assignments are gonna be marked. That's what I'm looking for. So I wanna be able to do everything based off of the uh, based off of these screenshots in the Word document. If something is tricky beyond that and I actually need to open up a program, the programs are there. I can go in and verify things in the program if I want to, but I'd, I'd rather not do that because it's going to be very time consuming. If I can just visually check everything on simple programs just by looking at them in these screenshots, that's going to be the preferred, preferred method of doing this. Okay, so that is how that gets scored. That's a 75 out of 100. All right, so that is how grading of the assignments goes.